What's going on everybody? I'm Tony. Welcome back to the Honda Gram Race Bike Build. I've got a quick video for you today. I'm going to get the aftermarket levers and brake guard installed on my new bars because I forgot to do it last time. Let's go! In my last video, I got my new bars installed and I had every intention on installing my new levers as well, but I didn't. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at that. I also got a new set of brake guards. I've got to have them in order to race. So I'll walk you through that process as well. It's not confusing, but I, I have seen some people struggle with it. I'm gonna go ahead and get the camera set up and then we'll dig into it. I'm gonna go ahead and start on the brake side. It seems to be a little bit easier than the clutch side because you don't have to mess with any of the cabling. Literally to do this, you only need one tool, I guess two tools on brake side. I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter wrench and then a 10 millimeter socket. Go ahead and pop it off and then we'll get that new lever on there. Just like that, the old lever's out. Go ahead and grab yourself a rag, clean up you know, some of the dust, dirt, and grime. It just kind of builds up here over the months, years, whatever. And uh, clean that off before you go throwing the new lever in. I'm gonna take a little bit of grease, coat the new lever, and throw it on there. And believe it or not, you are done with the brake side. Just like that, literally, a nut and a bolt later, you've got an aftermarket brake lever installed. While I'm on this side of the bike, I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the brake guard as well. Now, the idea of the brake guard, it, it's pretty simple, but um, it's got this little piece here on the end that actually slides into the handlebar, and it keeps somebody from accidentally being able to hit my front brake as we're going down the track. Now, it's not super common, but it does happen. It's a huge safety precaution. Gotta have it. Now, um, this is just a, a cheap, simple brake guard. Got it off of eBay. Um, if you haven't noticed, I don't like spending a lot of money, so a lot of my parts come off of eBay and Amazon. They work, they do the trick for me. Now, um, if you've ever gotten one of these, what ultimately ends up tripping a lot of people off, this slides into the handlebar, and then as you tighten it, it expands. I'm gonna show you real quick what I'm kind of talking about. The way that it comes, it's not, it's not confusing, but it can definitely be a little bit odd. So you've got this piece right here. As you tighten it, this piece goes in and it expands a little bit, but as it comes, like that's that's not gonna work. Let me see if I can't get this, get that out, there we go. So as I get that little bar end out, that's not gonna work. And as it looks, it's like, all right, this is two pieces. You try to pull it apart, it's kind of hard. It'll come apart. That is actually what ends up going into the handlebar. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get this all back together and then I'll show you how it actually goes on there. All right, this is what the brake guard looks like when it's completely together. You'll notice that you've got the little piece that's going to expand, the nut that goes on to the end, and as you tighten it, this actually spreads apart, holding it into the end of the handlebar. So I'm just going to throw that in there, grab an Allen wrench, and tighten it away. All right, got the brake and the brake guard installed. I'm going to go ahead and move over to the clutch side and get this wrapped up. The clutch side, just like the brake side, is pretty easy. Um, instead of having a 10 millimeter bolt, you've just got a flat head slot here and then a 10 millimeter on the bottom. The, the tricky thing here is you've got to pull this little sheathing back and then you've actually got to remove the clutch cable. But outside of that, pretty, pretty easy install. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the time lapse on and we'll get these swapped out. And there we have it. Got the brake and the clutch levers installed. Pretty dang happy with them, especially with them being like no name aftermarket levers. They definitely got a good feel. So thumbs up to that. Um, not sure about the next video in terms of what it's gonna be. I'm thinking either safety wiring the Grom and then kind of going over and looking at the Ninja 300 as well. Just kind of how to safety wire a motorcycle for track purposes. Or I might look at doing uh, some of the body work on the Grom here. But either way, I really appreciate you stopping by. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.